Okay, we are coming to the last part. Number pattern. Okay, as you can see, there are four numbers given in this pattern. The first number is number two. It is also known as the first term. So what is the value of the first term? It's number two. What's the value of the second term? Five. What's the value of the fourth term? Eleven. Okay, but this is a number pattern. That means there is a certain sequence that it follows. Why? Can you see in this number pattern? What do you do to the number to get to each of the next number? Add, right? Add what? Three. Three. Very good. So I'm going to draw plus three. Plus three. Plus three. Why? Because there are only four terms given here. I want to find the fifth term. So what must I do? Plus three. Why is 11 plus three? 14. So the fifth term is 14. Then if I want to find the sixth term, I need to add another 3. 14 plus 3 will give us 17. Okay, but my question, oh, there are 6 terms. What if I want to find the 100th term? Not so easy. That is why we need to find this thing called general term. If you can recall, hey, every number I need to plus 3, am I right? So, notice, every number to the right side I need to plus 3, so 3n. John is correct, but I need to find the number before the first term. Take a look. Huh? How to find the number before number 2? Ah, I must minus 3 because I'm moving to the left. I'm not moving to the right. So, minus 3. What is 2 minus 3? Negative 1 when you press the calculator. So, you need to input the very first number. Okay? This is how to find the general term. Why is the general term useful? Because it will allow you to find any big number. Example. I want to find the hundred term. Ah, yes, the other three bracket one hundred. I replace the letter n by one hundred if I want to find the hundred term minus one. So I use the formula here exactly the general term. Then after that, I can press the calculator three hundred minus one. Ah, so I don't need to keep doing arrow 100 times. That would be crazy. Alright, so our job is to find what do you need to do to get to the next number. Find the general term by finding the number before the very first number. Alright? Okay, in this question, the n term, the formula is given to be 5n plus 3. Alright, our job is to find the first four terms as well as the 50th term. So, first four term. If I want to find the first term, I must replace my letter M by what? Not 5. I must replace my letter N by... One, because the first term is number one. Press the calculator. What is the answer? A. Very good. Do the same for the next few. The second term. So basically, I make use of the formula. 5m plus 3. But the only thing is I change the letter n to a bracket and fill in the corresponding number based on the term that I want. So, if I want the second term, what number do I fill in inside the bracket? 2. Very good. Now, you just have to press the calculator. 
What do you all get? 13. Similarly, Solihin, third term. What do I fill in in the bracket? 3. Have you, all, have you written down? No. Please write down now. Do you all get 18? If it's the fourth term, what do you fill in in the bracket? 4. What's the answer you achieve? Okay, this is one way to write, but there is another way. Based on the first example, you can give me 8, 13, 18, 23. Alright, but it's not compulsory, but you can do it that way. Now, then comma, put a dot 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 because the sequence will continue. Last but not least, I want to find the 50th term. Very good. So I look at the formula again. 5m plus 3. I don't write m. 5 bracket plus 3. Now my question, it is the 50th term. What is the number I fill in? 50. Then you can punch in the calculator. Solihin, what's the answer? Alright, so if you press the calculator carefully, you will get 253. They want the first four term and the 50th term. But the good thing is in this question, the general term was given. Now, let's take a look at the next one. Page 103. I'll let you try first. Okay? So, I need to find the 100 term. But before I do that, I need to find the n term, which is the general term. What do we do first? Draw arrow. Notice, ah? Huh? What do I do to get from 5 to 9? Plus 4. What do I do to 9 to get to 13? Okay, consistently, I need to add 4. So what should we write down? Consistently, 4. So I need to write down number 4, right? With a? Yes, bracket, and then? N. You can write bracket, you don't write bracket, also can. Alright? You can write 4N, or you can write 4 bracket N. Okay, that's the first step. What is the second step? I'm going to do it in red color. Remember? Ah, do backwards. Very good. I know the first number is number 5, but I want to find the number before number 5. I'm going to the left direction now. If I go to the right, it's plus 4. If I go to the left, what will I get? Minus 4. Okay, what is 5 minus 4? Very good. So the number before number 5 is 1. What, are, what's my, what must I do to this number? Right behind. Plus 1. Plus 1. So, you can either give me this answer in bracket, or you can give me 4n plus 1. This is your n term. So let me write down. n term. Either one of these is fine. Why is it useful to find the n term? I no need to draw arrow 100 times. Why? Because I want to find my 100th term now. 4 bracket. 100 plus 1. Thank you, Satesh. Very good. 401. Okay?